Hi, I'm Alan King, Director of Public Works and Utilities. It's snow and ice season again, so I'd like to share with you some of the things the city's doing to help make things easier for you. We are always looking for ways to improve our snow and ice program. And one of the things we identified that we needed was to provide better communication, provide more detail, more timely updates of what the city's doing and what you can expect. One of the tools that we've developed is a web page that helps you see where our snowplow uh, routes are and which ones have been plowed and which ones still need to be plowed. To access this, you go to the city's home page, which is www.wichita.gov. And when you're at the city's home page, you go up here to services, and there's an item here that says track snow removal. When you touch that, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. There's two tabs down here. One is press releases. You can go there to get the latest information, the latest press releases on the storm events. But on, on the current tab, what you'll see here is a, a map that shows where our, our snow plows are. Just like uh, with uh, Google Maps, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can pan to look in different areas. Now these, each of these dots represents a truck. We have the trucks listed here by their identification number, and you can identify a truck status by the color. If it's green, that means it's driving. It's on and it's driving. If it's blue, it's been sitting for a while. If it's red, it's stopped. And if it's yellow, it's sitting for only a short period of time. Here's an example of a truck. You can see the arrow, which direction it's going. It tells you what its current speed is, what its maximum speed is for a period of time, and whether the ignition's on or, or if it's idling. Now, the real uh, value of this tool are these trails that you can see. A truck, when it drives a route, it leaves a trail, and you can, up here where it says trails, you can touch this uh, corner here. This is a, what it, where it's been in the last hour. If you touch it once, it shows you where it's been all day. You touch it one more time, and it shows you where it's been in the last 15 minutes. This is a way that you can see where the truck has been. When we're in a non-snow event uh, operation, this map will appear blank. It's only when we're actually engaged in snow response that you'll see this map and you'll see the trucks on it. I'm showing you this today so you, you can see what it looks like, but normally it'd be, it would be turned off when it wasn't a snow event. But you can actually see where, for the period of time that you've selected, where that truck has been and where it's going. This should give you some information on if your street has been plowed and how long ago it's been plowed, and give you some idea about where the trucks are. Are they in the neighborhood that you're in? And are they on the routes that you might use as you're going to plan your travels for that day? You can reach this map by going to the city's webpage, wichita.gov, going to services and selecting show snow removal map. And the other source of information is the city's Facebook and Twitter accounts. And then you can also get additional information tuning in to the local uh, news stations.